Alright, today's video is going to be a, a test video of sorts. We're all familiar with uh, HDRI environment textures and that they for the most part replicate real world light scenarios and in a lot of cases it makes the reflections and so forth look more realistic. Now, I'm sure we're all familiar with uh, HDRI Haven and that's where I'm going to be getting these textures from today for this test. Now my test is this. Down here you have like 1K, 2K, 4K, 8K, and 16K textures. I want to know what kind of a difference it makes if you use a 16K versus a 1K or versus an 8K. Because you can look right here and see 16K, 350 megabytes, 8K, roughly 100. 4K, about 25 megabytes. So how big of a difference does that make? Because all this is is like a background texture or an environment texture, and it just creates light information. It basically tries to replicate the light you see in this scene. All right, let me go ahead and download these. And once I get them downloaded, we'll go back over to the uh, to blender and we'll start there right now it's just got a white background now this is I can't take credit for this scene I've just edited it a little bit for this test but this is basically the uh, blender demo file but this is what it looks like right now basically just a wet road with a white sky otherwise it looks okay it's just kind of plain looking because the sky is just one color it's just one big huge soft light all right now let's go ahead and add the 1k texture to it but instead of looking at it in viewport I'm going to render it out just so that we can get a better look at it and actually compare between the different renders Add an environment texture, go to open, go to test, and we'll add this 1K at first. All right, and uh, let me go to my render settings, make sure they're right. All right, and uh, yeah, set to 100%. All right, let me go ahead and click render. And I am using 1000. Uh, 225 samples just like in the just like the demo file normally uses but instead of this being set to 50 percent I have it set to 100 percent so it's a larger render that way we can actually get a better look at it and of course it should take just a little bit it should take about four times longer than what the actual uh, uh, render the demo file generally takes maybe a little bit longer than that being that the environment texture does add a little bit of time to it or at least that's been my experience but it's minimal but you can already see the image itself looks way better in my opinion of course it kind of looks funky right here because I don't have a good transition from road to ground but that's okay this is just a test alright now let me go ahead and change this to slot 2 go over here to the um, world tab and uh, change this from the 1k To the 2k and then we'll render it one more time now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the rest of these while I render these out and then once they're all rendered we'll uh, go back and examine any differences between the 1k 2k 4k 8k and 16k all right the last one just finished now let's for, before we get into any differences in how good it looks let's 
try to look at the practical things. Okay, the 1K took one minute, eight seconds, and used 263 megabytes of R. Let's go by the peak instead. 444 megabytes of uh, GPU memory. Let's go to slot two. Used a little bit more GPU memory and took roughly the same amount of time for the 2K. Let's go to the 4K. More memory, not much more, and roughly the same amount of time. Now this right here is the 8K. It took almost twice as much memory and it went up about a second. Now let's go to the 16K. It took about seven or eight seconds more, but look how much extra memory it took just using the 16K texture. All right, now let's look at the difference in the images. Obviously, if we was to go to slot one, everything in the background is less defined, and that's because you have this, you have less resolution. It's just a smaller image. And if you go to the 16K, obviously everything in the background is more clear. Now let's try to look at the render itself and see what the difference is. There's not much difference. Let's zoom in to like a reflection on the car. Obviously this, this part is being reflected from the, that glow is being reflected from the environment texture. This is the 1K, 2K, 4K, and 16K. I can't tell the difference. Quite frankly, I, I don't see any point. Let me, well, before I go make a draw a conclusion from this. All right, that right there is the 8K. And honestly, that is indistingu indistinguishable from the 16K in my opinion in any as in any way whatsoever except for the fact that the 16K took more than twice as much memory. Now this is the 4K. 4K is what I think most people probably use. 4K barely used more memory than what the 1K would use. And quite frankly, let me go between the 4K and the uh, 16K. And there is just barely a difference that I can see back here and on the car, on the render itself. I can't see any difference. So, I'm actually surprised by that result. I actually figured that there would be a fairly noticeable difference in regards to how the render itself looks based on whether or not you're using a 1K or 16k environment texture again that's the 1k and in some ways i like it better because the the back the background looks more bokeh but you know that you can replicate that with different camera settings but realistically i use the 4k textures in pretty much all my renders and i thought about going up to 8k or 16k before because I assumed it would make a difference, but it doesn't. Uh, or at least or at least I'm not able to show the difference. Maybe I'm not providing a good example of what difference the 16K would make versus like the 4K. But my conclusion based on this test alone is that if you go, if you get the download 4K textures, you're fine. Now, if you want you know part of the texture the environment texture to be the background then obviously uh, 
or if you want part of the environment texture to be part of the render then obviously you would want the 16k because there's more information there but generally speaking if you're just using it for lighting then I don't think it really makes much of a difference whether you're using 1k 2k or whatever I me personally I just use 4k but that's just I guess that's all of this test it didn't turn out the way I thought that's weird I I kind of like that when the tests are unexpected when the results are unexpected I would have bet money that the 16k would have looked better and maybe maybe I'm just old and I can't see the difference but anyway I guess that's it later people